how do we interpret bootstrap results? In our previous video, we have bootstrapped an independent samples t-test. This is the syntax that we made. You see that it contains two commands, first the bootstrap command and then the t-test command. Let's run it. Our computer may need some time to perform all the bootstrapping samples. Here we are. And let's just walk through the output. First of all, we have the specifications of the bootstrap, the choices that we've made. We've ordered 5,000 bootstrap samples, 95% confidence interval, and we use the bias-corrected approach to confidence intervals. Then we get the t-test group statistics, telling us, as we're used to, the number of candies in each group, 10, <coughs> The average scores and their standard deviations, so the red candies weigh 2.7 gram on average, whereas the yellow candies nearly weigh 2.8 gram. We didn't ask for it, but we also get the confidence intervals for the mean and the standard deviation. And if we s inspect those confidence intervals, we see that, well, average weight of red candies is supposed to be between 2.6 and 2.8 for yellow candies the average weight 2.7 about to 2.9 these confidence intervals are quite similar so I don't expect that we will find a substantial difference between the two colors in terms of weight now next is the independent samples output here the Levine's test for equality of variances value is well above 0.05 so we may assume that the population variances are equal and the t value well the t test has a, a p value that is also well above 0.05 so we would not conclude that there is a statistical difference in the average weight of yellow candies and the average weight of red candies but let's have a look at the bootstrap results there in the, the last table here it tells us the mean difference in average weight, which is, of course, very, very small here. And it gives us the confidence interval according to the bootstrapping. Now we see that the confidence interval includes zero. Uh, so we can have either negative differences, then the yellow candies are more heavy, or positive differences, then the red candies are more heavy. So basically, we have no reason to decide that there is a difference in weight between red and yellow candies. Well, this concludes our interpretation of the bootstrap results. In SPSS version 24 and earlier, bootstrapping remains active until you disable it. For example, if I now do another test, say a paired sample T test, for the candy color shade before and after some period of time. And if I check the bootstrap option, you see that perform bootstrapping is still on. If you want to end it, you have to deselect it. Right. Well, I think that's all you have to know about bootstrapping. Good luck.